The Chinese investors are not slowing down anytime soon. The other time, they seized our three private jets and they later released one. And the other time, they seized a house belonging to the federal government in the UK. And again, as of now, they have seized another private jet belonging to Nigeria. Well, you cannot just collect debt, collect pile up debt, and you think you won't pay back. You must pay. You must pay. According to People Gazette, they said Chinese investors snatch another 57 million private jet Nigeria kept in Canada after seizure from fugitive Dan Etiti. Chinese investors snatched another 57 million private jet Nigeria kept in Canada after seizure from fugitive Dan Etiti. Who is Dan Etiti self? Let us uh, check Dan Etiti. Dan Etiti, aka Chief, sorry, aka Chief Danzia Lawyer Estate, Etiti, Lawyer Etiti was a former Nigerian Minister of Petroleum under the regime of General Sani Abacha. 1995 and was convicted as a money launderer in the year 2007. They seized that private jet and the private jet was worth 57 million US dollars. Just imagine the massive amount of wealth they have accumulated stole from Nigeria. Just imagine, oh, this is a petroleum minister under General Sani Abacha with uh, a private jet worth 57 million US dollars. And it was recently uh, 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 seized by a Chinese investor after the federal government seized it. Why? Why are they still holding it? Why didn't they sell it a long time ago? Well, the Chinese government investors are going after the Nigeria property. In fact, I think they are currently doing investigation to undercover so many Nigeria properties abroad so that they can carry out a court order to seize all of them. So very soon now, Nigeria, proper, Nigeria will no longer have any properties abroad again because we keep co collecting debt uh, thinking we are not going to pay for the debt. So I don't know how the federal government will go about it, but this is an ISO. This is an insult, this is an ISO, this humiliation. Humiliation to the highest order. Well, that being said, let's uh, leave it there and go to Botswana. I think Botswana need to be careful to hide this from the UK. If not, the UK might decide to come for them on this, on this recent discovery. They need to be careful. The second largest diamond was recently found in Botswana. The second largest diamond in the world recently found in Botswana. According to African Facts, they said the world's second largest diamond ever has been found by a Canadian company. Oh, Canada company. European company. <laughs> Lucara Diamond in Botswana. The 2,492 carat diamond was found in Karui Diamond Mine, which is managed by the company. <laughs> uh, Botswana Diamond managed by a Canada company. You know, I was thinking, oh, I better hide it from uh, the hide it from the uh, the UK government. Oh. But now I never knew. Even the people mining it and uh, and uh, taking care of all the diamonds in Botswana are uh, a uh, Canada company. <laughs> What the hell is going on in this world? Ah, uh, Baba. <laughs> Someone said, African wealth continue to be extracted while our people see little of the benefit. It's time for Africa to own and control our resources, ensuring that the wealth of our land is used to uplift our community and build our future. But unfortunately, even our own leaders 
are packing and packing and going to develop the European countries. So that is one of the things. Africa is now seen as a dump, dump site, dump, dump, refuge dump site. And somebody said, Diamond belonged to Botswana, but managed and mined by Canada. Americans will start calling, requesting a share. Why will the Botswana develop with the greedness with your politician? Hmm? Then somebody said, why will Botswana be behaving dumb like South Africa? Why will they allow foreign bodies to come and manage, control their own natural resources? Well, that's what it is. Then somebody said, I'm sure there is a larger one in Kenya, but the government want to discover it in secret so people won't know. Well, I can bet you they have found larger diamonds before, larger ones, even big, big ones. But unfortunately, the government of that uh, country do not want the public to know so that they will have a share on it. But it's just what it is, man. I was just talking about the UK. Of course, you guys had been, and when I was talking about they need to be careful, but then, boom, a Canada company. I'm not saying the Canada company are bad, but I'm just thinking out loud. You know, because tomorrow now, I want to go to Canada, and they will see this video of me criticizing them. Now, lie, let them criticize. They have to say the truth to liberate us. But unfortunately, even the liberators do not want to be liberated. And those people, or our brothers who are trying to liberate us, after getting liberated, they will go there and even do worse than what these European countries are doing to us. <laughs> That's why you see people in the Africa again, keep calling on the international body to come and interfere in our own internal matter. Because they still have full belief on the international bodies. It's quite unfortunate, guys. It's really, really quite unfortunate. I don't really understand anymore. I don't really understand anymore. Just to give you an, an, an example. Just to give you an example. The Cameroon president, who is about 93 years old, still want to run for president. He has been in power for 41 years. But he still want to run for president. The man who can't even walk. At a press conference, this man was pulling on himself. They mess him out for press conference, and yet he still feels he's strong enough to run. As at this moment, then, I do not think he himself wants to run. I think the people who are benefiting want him to stay there. See, don't forget, eh? hmm? don't forget the king makers want to make a king who cannot function. That's why they call themselves king makers. They want to put a king there who cannot function so that then behind closed door, they are the one making the rules. Why the king is just the figurehead? <laughs> Don't think in most countries your president is actually the one ruling. Sorry to say to you. Sorry to say it. But do not think in most countries your president is the one actually ruling. It might be some external power who call themselves king makers who call themselves king makers they are the ones that actually are ruling yes so believe it or not but they are the ones actually ruling because i don't understand how a 93 years old man who has dementia who cannot even remember everybody knows everybody knows everybody's aware how can that person even remember the date of Election. How can that person even remember to speak? The guy can even hardly make any public speech. His citizens have not seen him. Yet the person keeps rerunning, rerunning, and rerunning. He has been in power for 43 years. As reportedly confirmed, he will contest the next election when he will be 93 years. This is what we call dying power by force. Yes, so die in power by force. Destined to be in power and die in power by force, by fire. They know it's no longer functioning. They know it doesn't. 
function anymore, but they still want him there because it's easy to control. It's easy to control. If he wins, it's 90, he will be 93 when he will run. If he wins, they have seven years in power for the first time. So he will be 100 years in 2031. <laughs> and if he's still alive, he's still going to rerun. You see his wife there. Oh, oh Africa. Oh. Oh. Africa unite. Afri Africa unite. Africa unite. Afri Africa unite. Africa unite. Afri Africa unite. Africa unite. Okay, guys, so thank you very much for watching the boy again. I'm still catching us time. Peace.